Hi everybody, EB here and welcome to today's video. So today's video I finally dug out my £24 PC which is the first two PCs that I bought when I was in hospital. This one differs from the one I paid £15 for in that um, the one I paid £15 for has 4 gigs of RAM, uh, a Core 2 Duo um, CPU at 3 gigahertz and I installed and bought uh, a 6 quid AMD RAID and XFX graphics card which is a 2 gigabyte card which is absolutely great for that PC however for this PC <clears throat> I really really did want to move away utterly totally from Windows so just to remind you, this PC is um, an Intel i5-2400 quad-core processor with 8GB of DDR3 RAM. <coughs> I then added a 128GB SATA SSD and an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. 4GB. So this whole PC is at least half the specs of my main gaming PC. Now it's very, very interesting um, because the three games I really do want to run locally are Star Wars The Old Republic, which I'm addicted to, Farm Simulator 17 and Valheim. This PC is more than capable with these specs of running all three with consummate ease. Now for the big question migrating away from Windows. So we've migrated away from Windows and we've made the decision to go to Linux. We don't like the way <coughs> Windows 11 and certainly the latest batch of updates to Windows 10. We don't like the way that that operating system is going. So we have the ability to um, move away from that platform <coughs> And it's called Choice. Now, we could, of course, choose Apple Mac. Eh, but with Apple Mac, are oh, you not jumping out of the frying pan into the fire, into another proprietary lockdown ecosystem? Uh, so I've gone for Linux. OK, so what should be the thought process on Linux? Well, first of all, you want an operating system that's reliable. You want... A Linux operating system that you don't really give a shit about. Because you're not going to be doing much on the operating system. You're going to be gaming. So my thought process was quite simple. Linux from scratch. Gen 2. Slackware. Absolutely no. Why? Well, because I don't want to spend most of my time sysadmin in the system rather than fucking using it. Just saying. <clears throat> Then we've got a couple of other contenders. Uh, Fedora. Well, I'm never going to use Fedora. Fedora can fuck right off with pleasure. That's just a personal thing. If you like Fedora, go ahead and use it and abuse it. Then we get two OpenSUSE. Uh, mm, that is a possibility. SUSE is a good operating system. No doubt about it. Something like Tumbleweed. Uh, very nice. Um, however... Uh, it's German, and I'm not being racist here. German is dull and boring. Dull, 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 as Lord Zash would say, <laughs> with a capital D. Not really for me. Which leaves what? The Buntus. Well, you know, I love the Buntus, but uh, the Buntus don't play nicely with NVIDIA. They really fucking don't. Uh, they're your worst nightmare. So some NVIDIA drivers and some NVIDIA cards work beautifully. Others won't work for love and the money. Others will balk your fucking installation when you try and install the drivers. Ah! And then you get an update come down to your Ubuntu and your system's screwed because NVIDIA drivers didn't like it. So that kind of rules out Ubuntu and all its derivatives. So what does that leave us with? Debian. Good old Debian. Debbie and Ian. 
Now, I could have built a Debian system myself from scratch. Why would you want to do that when those amazing people over at MX Linux have their operating system? So that's what I've gone for and installed on this 128 gigabyte SSD. So we're running the latest iteration of MX Linux. This is the AHS edition. Um, I don't know why I bought the a AHS edition down for gaming um, when I'm running it actually on older hardware. Sorry about the cable if you can hear it rubbing. I'll try and keep it moved away. <clears throat> um, but nevertheless I did and I've installed it and so far she's been absolutely beautiful. So that was my thought process. <clears throat> Just as a, a final footnote, final thought, I have been watching a lot of Jim Acklaw's great, great videos. If you haven't seen his videos, go and watch them because he's got some terrific content, especially the newer Puppy Linux stuff that he's been doing. I very, very nearly installed Puppy Linux on a 64 gigabyte USB thumb drive and used that. And I think... Had I have only been using GeForce now and not running the games locally, I may well have gone down that old route of Puppy Linux. But when you've got an operating system that is number one for a reason, <clears throat> certainly in user opinions, um, MX Linux, you can't go wrong. So in the upcoming videos, I'll give you some... Uh, video demonstrations of Star Wars The Old Republic, Flight Sim, uh, sorry, Farm Sim 17 and Valheim, all running beautifully uh, natively, or oh, I say natively, locally I mean, on this MX Linux based PC. And this should do us for some serious considerable time because the PC itself, although it only cost us 24 quid, it's highly upgradable. The CPUs and the RAM are readily available and for very, very little money. Um, so it's win-win. We could upgrade the 8 gig to 32 gig. We could do this. We could do that. Don't need to. As you'll see in the coming videos, I hope. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Please post underneath this video uh, your thought process on choosing a Linux. In case I missed Arch out, well, Archie's rolling in brakes all the fucking while. Archie's great when it works. And it's a pain in the arse when it don't. So that's how I've ended up on MX Linux built and based on Debian. Don't think we can go wrong. Of course, there are a lot of other independent Linux distributions we could have looked at. Ah, but I'm very, very happy um, with the MX Linux. So please post underneath the video your thought process. Do you feel comfortable with the way Windows and Apple Mac are going in 2023? I personally don't. Um, and would you ever consider migrating away from Windows and over onto the Linux platform? Be interesting to get your thoughts and your comments. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.